Huskies are one of the most lovable dog breeds in the world. Actually, some, but not all of these furry friends were initially bred to pull loads over a short distance. Today, there are many different types of Huskies available, from Alaskan Malamutes to Alaskan Husky and more. So if you're looking for a good Husky breed to adopt, then you need to know the different types of Huskies in the market. Hopefully, that will help you make the right decision. Main Types of Husky Dogs The term Husky is used to describe sled dogs that helped to traverse the icy and snowy terrain in the northern region. Even though this word is native to the Arctic region, it was likely coined by the English sailors. These sailors referred to the dogs used by the Inuit people. Over the years, the Huskies have undergone continuous changes and cross with other breeds. With that said, this list is our description of the major types of Huskies in the world today. There's a high chance that there are more. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute is a sturdy and powerful dog built for stamina. It's one of the oldest breeds whose original appearance hasn't changed that much. More to that, this sturdy canine needs consistent leadership and a job to avoid getting bored. On top of that, these dogs need plenty of companionships and are quite sensitive. The Alaskan Malamute will also need open space. That said, they are not properly suited for apartment life. The male Alaskan Malamute stands at 25 inches at the shoulder, and they can weigh up to 85 pounds or even more. On the other hand, the females stand at around 23 inches tall to the shoulder and can weigh about 75 pounds. But it's not unusual to see a fully grown Alaskan Malamute weigh 100 pounds. The Alaskan Malamute has a double coat and the undercoat is oily with woolly texture. The wool can easily be as 2 inches. Additionally, the outer guard is coarse, hence it protects the pooch from harsh conditions. The malls have pointy ears that are smaller than the rest of the head. They typically come in a combination of black and white, sable and white, gray and white, red and white, or even solid white. Personality of the Alaskan Malamute Without a doubt, malls will be very easy to win you over with their playful nature. After all, they are really good friends to everyone, even new guests. So they are not the best guard dogs, but they are extremely loyal to the family. Alaskan Malamutes are pack animals, and they will definitely enjoy spending time with you. They will actually beg to be included in every activity that you will be doing as a family. Their temperament is usually affected by several factors including socialization and training. When the pups have a nice temperament, they are playful and can be held by new guests. Regardless, always meet the pooch before adopting one to ensure that he or she has a nice temperament. What's more, it's also nice to meet the siblings and parents whenever possible when evaluating the puppy. Alaskan Malamute's Health and Care Generally, the malls are healthy breeds, but they are prone to particular conditions. But that doesn't mean your Malamute is going to get any of these conditions. However, being well informed about the conditions that might affect your pooch will help you in understanding your breed. Some of the conditions that Malamute are prone to include elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia, von Willebrand's infection, or hypothyroidism. This member of the Huskies is definitely a worker animal. Malamutes can run, play, or even bounce around a lot, so you will have to match their energy. When the Alaskan Malamute doesn't exercise enough, he or she is bound to get bored. More to that, the Alaskan Malamute is a heavy shedder since they have a thick coat. They will shed heavily at least twice annually. During such periods, you will have to give your mutt frequent brushing. Siberian Husky This is the other top breed in the Husky family and with good reason. This is the most popular breed. In fact, when someone talks of a Husky dog, they'll quickly identify a Siberian breed as the only type of Husky in the world. Saying the word beautiful while describing the Siberian Husky is an understatement. This mutt is way beyond gorgeous. It's easy to see why many people are drawn to this husky breed. The intelligence in this pooch is off the charts. Actually, you'll need a fence around your home and make sure it sinks into the ground. Otherwise, your Siberian husky will Houdini his way out and follow you. But don't be fooled. There's a lot to the Siberian huskies other than those puppy doll eyes. The Siberian pup is not for everyone. The average male Siberian husky can grow up to 23 inches high and weigh up to 60 pounds. On the other hand, the female Siberian Husky can grow up to 22 inches high and weigh up to 50 pounds. Siberians have blue, brown, or even bi-eyed. 
This term is used to describe dogs that might have one brown and another blue eyes. On top of that, the Siberian Husky comes in different colors with unusual markings on the body and head. She can be pure black or pure white or anything in between. This pooch has a double layered coat with an undercoat as well as a top coat. The undercoat is fluffy and soft while the top coat consists of guard hairs. Siberian Huskies are just like most of the northern dogs. They have the most advanced intelligence in the dog world, but at the same time, they are independent and stubborn. These Huskies will thrive on human interactions, but they definitely need firm training while they are still kids. The body and character of Siberian Huskies are built for endurance and running. That said, if you'd like to adopt a Siberian Husky, you will have to match her energy levels. But Siberian Huskies are easy to live with. What's more, these type of Huskies can live up to 14 years. All in all, early socialization will help build their character. Other than that, you will instantly fall in love with a Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies Health and Care Just like the other Huskies, the Siberian Huskies are generally healthy animals. But there are a few conditions you have to watch out for, including cataracts, hip dysplasia, and von Willebrand's disease, among others. The best way to deal with such conditions is by talking to your breeder when you're about to adopt a Siberian Husky but you should brush your pup regularly to reduce the effects of shedding. Siberian Huskies need about 60 minutes of workout daily so to ensure that they are not bored. Alaskan Husky The Alaskan Husky should not be confused with the Siberian Husky or the Alaskan Malamute. It is a working dog with the body and strength to support it. What's more, they are excellent companion dogs. This dog was originally bred in the Alaskan villages from a mix of different northern breeds, for instance, the Greyhound, Siberian Husky, and more. The Alaskan Husky can be graded as a medium to large sized dog. The extreme working dogs can produce a pooch that weighs between 50 to 80 pounds. On the other hand, a racing dog is a bit more petite compared to the working type and they can weigh between 35 to 60 pounds. Generally, females are smaller compared to males. However, it can be difficult to pinpoint the exact size because of the range of diversity in this breed. Appearance of the Alaskan Husky The Alaskan Husky has the appearance of a typical sled dog. In fact, they are often confused with the Siberian and Malamute Husky. They tend to have brown hazel eyes, but they can also have blue eyes. They also have medium short fur, which protects them from the harsh environment. This pooch is known for being affectionate to other dogs as well as humans. They also love cuddling with their owners. If you don't have a lot of time on your hands, the Alaskan Husky might not be the breed for you since she can be mischievous and willful. At heart, the Alaskan Husky is adventurous and changes in routine will get her excited. Just like the Alaskan Malamute, the Alaskan Husky will need regular brushing. This pooch can live up to 15 years and is generally considered to be a healthy breed. However, our furry friend can sometimes fall victim to certain hereditary health problems including hypothyroidism, progressive retinal atrophy, and dysplasia of the hip and elbows. Also, you should check the health conditions of the parents before adopting any Alaskan Husky. Most breeders will easily give you this information. Husky Crossbreeds The type of Huskies we've discussed so far can be branded as pure breeds, but that doesn't mean that they are extremely pure. However, we can now talk about the mixed breeds that are available in the world today. Huskies are quite beautiful, but most dog owners prefer manageable dogs and that's one of the main reasons for crossbreeding Huskies. Husky crossbreeds are more common than you think. They include Eurohound. This is one of the more popular Husky crosses. The Eurohound is a cross between any pointer types of dog breed with the Husky. The Hug Dog. Branded as the smallest Husky crosses, this pup is a cross between the Husky and a Pug. Goberanian This is another popular Husky breed between the Husky and Golden Retriever. Husky and Corgi crossbreed As the name suggests, this is a cross between the Corgi and the Husky. Another common name for this crossbreed is Kusky. Pitsky Considered as a designer pooch, the Pitsky is a cross between the Husky and the American Pitbull Terrier. In summary, well, there you have it. Now that you know all the possible husky breeds, it's time for you to go out and adopt one of these lovely pooches. I guarantee you, a husky will soon be your best friend. Even when you're feeling down, a smile from your furry friend will brighten your day.